reaction. His name is Jeroen, better known as Dutch Brand Fan, and my name is Lirit. Welcome everyone! Today we are watching 1979's Moonraker, another Roger Moore Bond film. Yeah. You seem to really enjoy the previous one, finally. That was the, the first <laughs> Roger Moore movie you really got into, uh, which was The Spy Who Loved Me. Yes. This is actually directed by the same director as The Spy Who Loved Me, Lewis Gilbert. He returns uh, after He Only Lived Twice, which you enjoyed, the one with the volcano oh, in, yes. in Japan. Yeah. And after the previous one for the third and final time. Um, but first off, the title, Moonraker. Uh, what do you expect to see in this film? What kind of story are you uh, hoping or expecting here? Well, the moon. <laughs> you think that might go to the moon? Or? Well, you see on the poster he's wearing an astronaut uh, costume. Yeah, I so can't hide the, the movie posters <laughs> in our living room, so she kind of knows that little bit. But right. they're very small, so uh, I never like study the poster. <laughs> okay. But, but I think he's going to space. Okay, so that's what you're expecting to see in this one. Yeah. Okay, what about uh, the henchman? Uh, Jaws, you made a prediction because he survived in the previous film. He, he yes. swam back ashore. Yeah. Um, do you think we'll, we'll see him return in this film? Well, from every movie reaction we did, I saw the comments from the spy who loved me. Oh, you saw them, okay. Yes, I read them. <laughs> Was it spoiled there or something? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, you he's coming back! You know he's coming back. Okay, fair enough. You don't know in what context, of course. No, um, no. Obviously, the, the villain he was working for, he died. So, you, he's there. who knows what's going to happen with yeah, Jaws. But so, you, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to read any other comments. Right. <laughs> fair enough. If you're curious to see uh, our full-length reaction to Moonraker, as always, you can join us on my Patreon page and you can watch the whole thing there as a premium supporter. Uh, this also holds for all the other full-length reactions we did so far, including the non-Bond films uh, we previously, of course, had Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. Um, so, <laughs> we're going to be jumping into Moonraker and see what he thinks of this. It's another kind of music thing. Oh, it's not white. Yeah, it's, it's more brownish, right? Yeah. And the blood. Do you see it's like cartoony? You find so? Yes, it's I think more so. bright red. That's a rocket on an airplane. Yeah, space shuttle. That's not possible. Not, I don't think so. What the hell is that? The shuttle ignition. <laughs> huh? The Moonraker. Oh, that's the name! Yeah. That's the name of the shuttle! Right. So he's going to space with the Moonraker. Get me 007. Look at the door. Is 007 back from that African job? He's on his last leg, sir. His last leg. <laughs> Any higher, Mr. Bond, my ears will pop. There are a lot of airplanes. Right. She's a flight attendant. An evil one. Oh. Be a role you could play. <laughs> Enjoy your flight. He can't even survive this, but yeah. And there goes the parachute. Oh, Joss! Yep, he returned. Joss! There he is. He's also the bad guy again, but huh? I didn't saw him in the airplane. 
you imagine how cool I found this as a kid? <laughs> this was the first thing I saw. I was already in love with it. He's gonna try and get the parachute. Yeah. But it's still impressive, right? They're fighting in the sky. who had to film this in the air. Cool, right? This is pretty well done stuff, especially for mm -hmm. the time. Oh my god, Jess! Yeah. Swim! Swim! <laughs> I would swim like this. Yeah, it's not water though. No. <laughs> That's too early. <gasps> Jaws. It's Jaws. Do you think he's gonna die from this? No. Or? Still a little bit weird. Yeah, it, 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 get used to the tone of this movie. It's a lot like this. It's like a bit cartoony. Okay. Dream. As a kid, I found it so amazing. I'm like, ah. Oh. I'm actually allowed to watch Naked Woman now with my, my father. I thought this was the most cool thing ever. <laughs> I was about nine and already this interested me. <laughs> Good morning, Money Penny. James, well, why are you so late? I fell out of an aeroplane without a parachute. <laughs> the situation is critical. We've got to find that shuttle. Yes, sir. Ah, just a minute, 007. I've got something for you. Roll up your right sleeve, will you? <laughs> this is now. What do you think? What's your prediction? A watch. Like this? <laughs> oh, thank oh, you. God. I've blue tipped with armor piercing heads, five red tipped cyanide coated, causing death in 30. Cyanide? <laughs> Let's get them in the stores for Christmas. Good morning, gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to California, Mr. Bond. I like it already. So weird that she has like this cleavage. Cleavage. It's the world of Bond, of course. <laughs> We're approaching the main complex now. They don't have like air things. Yeah, you're right. They're just communicating without yes, the actual headset. Yes, that's not even possible. That's it's true. I never noticed. <laughs> that's not even possible. It's very hard to speak in a helicopter without mm -hmm. it. Yeah, you're right. Is that the house? It's the estate of, of drags. Every stone brought from France. Cute, isn't it? One percent of the world. Thank you, Cavendish. Ow. It's a big. He's like a ninja Look after thingy. Mr. Bond. Samurai. Yeah. See that some harm comes to him. Knew it. <laughs> it's a girl. He's not a guy. Yeah. I'm looking for Dr. Goodhead. You just found her. Oh. A woman. <laughs> <laughs> the powers of observation do you credit, Mr. Bond? <laughs> Holly Goodhead. Are you trained? Do you get it? Goodhead? No. She's so innocent. Well, it's a space shuttle, do you? And she's giving good head? No? I think it's a lost in translation situation. Strap yourself in firmly. This is for in the, in the shuttle. Right. You get what? the G-force, right? Oh, yeah. Most people pass out at seven. <laughs> You're making great sales for them. This is what we call a chicken switch. <laughs> you just keep your finger on that button. Come on, Mr. Bond. A 70-year-old can take three Gs. <laughs> the trouble is there's never a 70-year-old around when you need one. You go ahead. Ooh, there will be... It will be happening to him that he has to go to 20 Gs or anything. He will take over. No! Oh my god! 
you're getting really heavy, right? Yes. With every G, it's like times your body weight. Say something dumb. Something must have gone wrong with the controls. <laughs> Let me help you. You stay away from me. Oh, now he knows. Yeah, he knows something is up here. I like how Roger Moore played that straight, like, no joke. Usually he makes a joke, right? Yeah. He, he was like, no, yeah. not now. What? I was just wondering what your thoughts are on him. He just walks in and kisses her. It's every movie the same, so... <laughs> You're not surprised? <laughs> no. The samurai is going to enter now. What? Oh no. Wow. That's high tech in... Probably still would be today to crack a safe with a cigarette case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it said 007. Yes. He's a spy, but it, <laughs> it says his number. Is he? No. Ah, my dear Bond. This is Mademoiselle Daladier and La Signorina del Matteo. Yeah, those are the same girls. No, these were different ones. Oh. A pity you leave us. Such good sport. Unless you're a pheasant. <laughs> oh, really, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Take. Come now. They did something with the gun. It's fixed. No, it's a real gun. Yes, but he... Oh, wait. Over there. You missed, Mr. Bond. Nope. Did I? <laughs> As you said, such good sport. <laughs> I love that moment. He's like, go F yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the dogs? Run! Go to the cart! Oh my god, she's stupid. She came with the cart, so go with the cart. Right, she's running into the forest. Stupid. For such a light-hearted moment, I always thought this was a really dark moment, this... Yeah, I know, she's stupid. You think the dogs are gonna catch her? Yes. Oh, she has to climb in a tree or something. It's pretty brutal though, right? Well, she has to go into the cart and uh, drive away. Oh, it's in tennis! Yeah. I've been there. We know, yep. <laughs> been to this square as well? Yes. St. Marco Square? I think. Yeah, I have a photo of that. Where they make uh, glass. Uh... But what has that to do with the shuttle? Um, this uh, he found this in the safe, the glass work. So mm. he knows he needs to look for something here. This type of glass. See? 
it. If it ever came on the market, it would certainly fetch a price in excess of one million American dollars. Expensive glass. Yep. But there again, I keep forgetting that you are more than just a very beautiful woman. If you're trying to be ingratiating, Mr. Bond, don't bother. <coughs> I have more important things on my mind. <laughs> Can you think of a reason why we don't have a drink afterwards? Not immediately, but I'm sure I shall. <laughs> it's a good comeback, though. I've been in one of those. In a gondola? Yeah. Oh, someone died. What is it? I think it's from the bad guy. And, well, and what will be the deal with it? What do They're you think? They're going to shoot at him. From where? From over there. Oh, not shooting. Ever seen a gondola like this? No. <laughs> it's just like the Italian job. I, I, I was thinking you would say that. I was waiting for you to oh, really? come to that. Yeah, the Italian job. It's this is just like the Italian job. Remember that guy? He was also on the beach when he came driving out of the oh, car in yeah. the previous movie. Even the pigeon is like, what? <laughs> but, um, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is Moonraker, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Square? On the square. And he's a spy and everybody saw him. <laughs> it's yeah, it's it makes no sense when you think about it. Oh this part I saw in your uh, Easter egg video. Easter egg video. Yeah. Oh this is from the glass, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but they're using it for something. He's going to save that I think. He doesn't know what it does yet. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 go! <gasps> oh, they're going to die! So that's in the vial. Right. He has one. So Drax isn't up to any good with this yeah. stuff. But they're still alive. So it only touches humans, not animals. Hmm. Uh, ah! I knew it! How did you know so fast? <coughs> it did was, you see this movie? No, it was too quiet. <laughs> You expected the same. I, I, I always <laughs> think you're so good at predicting stuff. Obviously, this is not your first Bond film, so they become more predictable, but still, good job. And he's going to break everything, also that uh, ball from one million. I know for sure they're going to break it. It's broken. Oh my god. That was still in his pocket the whole time. <clears throat> Maybe he will come out of that. Out of the window? Yes. The clock? Yes. Look, 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 look. Boof. 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 I 
knew it! <laughs> Your friend Char just tried to kill me. For the second time. I don't see the point. Ah, oh, now I do. <laughs> Bollinger, if it's 69, you were expecting me. <laughs> What's 69 then? You know. Oh. <laughs> it's lethal perfume. <laughs> Trifle overpowering your scent. What is she? Standard CIA equipment. Oh, CIA. And possibly. possibly. Cooperation. Maybe. Maybe. Quit reading the subtitles. Say <laughs> <laughs> bridge with this fellow, Drax. <laughs> 007 doesn't usually push the panic button unless it's something serious. Oh, it's already gone. The I'm sure, yes, everything is gone. I know for sure everything is gone. But, yeah, it's all different now. Yeah. On behalf of the British government, I apologize. But he, he is right, he's yeah. right. Do you have any thoughts about where you might go? At least M believes him. Yeah. Always had a hankering to go to Rio's. Ah, Rio de Janeiro. He saw it on the boxes, mm -hmm. right? You've been there too? No. <laughs> Finally a location she hasn't visited. <laughs> oh, Charles. So he's gonna work for Drax now. Yeah, but... Uh... <laughs> Metal detector. Yeah. Welcome to Rio, Mr. Bartek. Oh, you already saw her making pictures. My name is Manuela. Um, I work for Station VH. We have been asked to assist you. Uh, That's strange. Why do you have to take pictures of me then? Yeah. This is a nice dress she's wearing. Yeah, I like her. I could see you wearing that type of dress. It would suit you too. Oh, the clown. Yeah. There's Joss. You think it's Joss? Who else? <laughs> That's true. Who else would it be? <laughs> Samurai is already dead. Yes. Oh, girl, walk away from it. She could scream or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Luckily, it's carnival. They take shots with yeah. them. Air freight. You know which airport they operate from? Yes, San Pietro. They have great locations in this movie, though, right? It's yeah, beautifully filmed. Yeah, but she said uh, from an airport. Yeah, so he's gonna look at the airport now. Oh. CIA girl. Yes, it's moving out. Where to? <coughs> That's what we're going to find out. Now that we're working together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, something will happen to the to the thing. He's going to bite it. Oh my God! I have sweaty hands. It's pretty high up. <laughs> yes. He's going to bite it. I knew it! <laughs> oh, I don't know what's Take worse. You, Spiders are high. The thought had occurred to me. <laughs> Do you know him? Not socially. His name's Jaws. He kills people. Oh, that you said, but he <laughs> yeah. already... Uh... True, I said that. <laughs> But he already like by bit the bit one of the cables, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what? He 
falls in love. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you something about this scene? Yes. Before the girl started smiling, was there anything you were expecting there? Uh, no, I thought he was going to die. Okay, but the girl, were you having any expectations with her? No? no. Okay. You? Thousands of people in the world remember her having braces. Braces? Yeah, because he smiles with like metal teeth and then they, he sees about the smile, so you're expecting her to have braces, but she doesn't. No? But there's like thousands of people who claim she at some point had braces and it's shifted, like the Mandela no, effect. That's because he has like that teeth. Yeah. So they probably you think expect that her she to have yeah. like braces. But were you expecting her to have braces? No, because she okay. doesn't have braces. Yeah, but beforehand? No. no. Okay, okay. Well, fair enough. Ooh, you saw the hair in her head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never got though, why would they try to escape? Because they don't know where Drax is. The, the ambulance would probably take them to Drax. Why would you try to escape? Because now they have to find out again where he is. Yeah. The outskirts, I think. What do you expect them to do here? I don't know. Huh? Quite well, funny you should say that. Money Penny. <laughs> Money Penny doesn't believe him. So it's like the pyramid in the previous movie where all of a sudden yeah. there was a base. Or in that boat, the boat. In the boat in yeah. the golden gun. It's going to explode. Because you're expect because you you're starting to know Bond movies. You're starting to expect <laughs> things now. What about this? That pile of liquid you picked up in Venice. You know, you seem to be right, 007. Thank you. May I see the formula? Ah, of course. Of course. That's, that's yeah. it. <laughs> so just because the poison is made from a plant, he kind of has to go there and search for it. Kind of far fetched, but still, it's a Bond movie. Yeah. A Roger Moore Bond movie. They go like this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun though, it's right? It's a fun movie. Oh! And of course. The bad guys know. Of course. Knows that he's going to the Amazon. <laughs> it's crazy. Torpedoes? It's mines. I like this boat better than the one in Live and Let Die, I think. This is cool. Live and Let Die, Live and Let Die. Oh, yeah. The boat chase yeah. in, uh, with the sheriff. With the sheriff, yes. <clears throat> it's a heat seeking torpedo. It's followed the boat. Whoa! Whoa! That came out of nowhere! Yeah. Oh, Jaws, of course! Of course! He's going to dive in. Oh no, he's going to fly over it. There he goes. <laughs> now he's going to die, right? Because she can't survive this. It's Josh. It's like Looney Tunes. It's like. You know, well, E. Coyote, it's like that. <laughs> it's like... He's like a cockroach. The CIA girl. Not the CIA girl. Huh? Who else? Some of these girls you saw. The first two in the. with the, the piano. Piano. Yes. They're all here, but what are they doing here? I don't know. Pray to God. <laughs> Look, that's the one from Venice in the yeah. store. Remember her? Beautiful film sets, right? This movie. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, I will follow you. <laughs> the astronauts. What a beautiful film set. I forgot how well this looked. This aids really well. Of course. <laughs> It's a something. python, yes. yes. Oh, that's the pen from the CIA girl. Yep. And he survived. <sighs> Mr. Bond, you defy all my attempts to plan an amusing death. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you break off the encounter with my pet python? I discovered he had a crush on Crew the Same seeds now yield death. Not, of course, to animals or plant life. One must preserve the balance of nature. So he wants to exterminate the human race. Yeah. One, lift off. But where's the moonraker going? <laughs> but where to? That's a surprise still yet to be found out. No. <laughs> this is a fake. It's uh, it's really it's real miniatures though. It's it's pretty cool. It's like Thunderbirds. Mr. Bond must be cold after his swim. Place him where he can be assured of warmth. <laughs> he's a he's a he has great dialogue. This film, right? Yeah. Under the Moonraker, cause it's warm there. Yeah. He is going to be placed right underneath one. Oh, with her. Jane! She's also captured. And not a great film set. Thank God you're safe. Well, it's not safe. I shall be leaving you in your own private crematorium. Mr. Bond, Dr. Goodhead, I bid you farewell. These are dark, dark deaths! <laughs> no. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Pressure. They have... Uh, External LH2 pressure. That's the suit, son! Oh my god, they're going to space. I knew it! I knew it! They're going to space. But it's not the same costume on the poster. Right, good call. I was hoping you would notice that. On the poster, it's just for the poster. Oh. He never wears it in the movie. Can you imagine Daniel Craig's Bond doing this though? No. <laughs> it's really Totally odd. not. It's really diff different, right? Fast in space? Like a five. But how? Uh, what? what? I... What do you expect? Where do you expect him to go? If there's anything that pops through your mind. No. Okay. Well. So that's new. Lyrid has <coughs> no idea where they're going. Look. <gasps> It's all woman and man. Yeah. The animals went in two by two. Yeah. These are the people he wants to repopulate the planet with. And so he's gonna kill humanity. Everyone. And on just Earth. use perfect use. people, right? Yeah. And all handsome people. So Here it comes, babe. It's like NASA. <laughs> no. It's a space station. Oh wow. No image on the radar scan. Wow. Or else NASA would have picked it up. Yeah. It's probably a little bit more difficult than parking a car. Yes. <laughs> wow. Beautiful, right? This, this whole <laughs> film set. It's, it's great. He has to put on start or something. Yeah. To engage the gravity. Ah, oh, yeah. First, there was a dream. It looked like now, a cult. There is reality. Yeah. Here, a race, a race of perfect physical specimens. <laughs> they said, you like it? Or? I knew it, but it's very strange. It's yeah. very strange. It's unique. It's, ne it's never happened. Yeah. It's, um, but the set is very beautiful. Yeah. 
switched off? Permanently. Come on, Nasha. But, um, he doesn't know that they're, like, spotted. Not yet, no. Oh, God. He... Him again. Balls of steel, you could say. Hundred million per globe. Wow. <laughs> wow, they have a laser. Jaws, you obey me. Because uh, his girlfriend is not like the Expel him. Stand by to laser so, it. Jaws is on Bond's side now. <laughs> This is well made, right? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Is he sending out an army? <laughs> this is so fake. It's cool though, right? It's, it's cool, man. It's really different. It's Intruder is advancing on command satellite. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, he has the thingy, right? So red one as well. Yes. Uh, cyanide. Yeah. Bye. Take a giant step for yes. mankind. Go, 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 go! Ooh, just in time. Dock and release system is jammed. <gasps> no! Uh, he will be heartbroken. He's looking for his girl. Oh, there she is. But they will die. Well, here's to us. This is his first sentence, or what? Yeah, he all of a sudden he talks. What's he going to do? To help disengage. Oh, he's going to bite it. Or what? James Bond literally needs to save the world. Yeah. Fire! No. Come on! 200,000 feet. Just a few seconds more. Yes. No, no! Too early, too early. Switching the manual. Let's hold us steady. Steady. No! It's entering no, your no, no, no. James, this is our last chance. No! I was just gonna see this. <coughs> My God, what's Bond doing? I think he's attempting re-entry. <laughs> Take me around the world one more time. Why not? The world is safe. So that was Moonraker. That was Moonraker. Right. <laughs> What did you think? What are your initial thoughts to this movie? Um, well, every Bond movie has his own, like, own... Uh, I don't know how you call it. Character? Uh, char I yeah. Like, every movie is different. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, they're so, actually not uh, as similar as no. some people say. No. I enjoyed it. Um, very much for every Bond movie, but uh, this one, uh, well, <laughs> it went. It was the icing on the cake. <laughs> right, this one went over the top. It went completely, literally out of this world. Yeah, 
But I was right. I was right. He was going to space. All right. Before we jump into that, did you like that aspect of James Bond going into space, or was it too much for you that he went to space? Well, at some point, he has he had to go to space. Right. It was in another movie with another sh shadow was going to space. He almost he went almost there, went and you only space. lived twice. Yeah. Same so, director too. Yeah. I thought maybe in another movie he will go to space because it was coming. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think in You Only Live Twice I actually said to you, uh, is he going to space? And I answered with, not this time, something yes. like that. So I foreshadowed yeah. that it was going yeah. to happen. Um, so yeah, Moonraker, Bond goes to space. <laughs> uh, there is a lot more to talk about here, so let's just jump right into it and start with your rating of Bond's performance. Yeah. What did you give him? Four stars. Four stars for Roger Moore, I think, uh, again. T talk about what you liked about him in this film. He did everything like how this movie should be. Right. <laughs> I agree. Um, it is over the top, but uh, he did a pretty good job to do it, it over the top. <laughs> it fits him like a glove, I think, the over the topness. I mean, he's, yeah. the, he's the funny Bond. He's. Um, yeah, and the jokes are spot on, I think. Even even you started laughing more on the Bond jokes and quips that he does. You usually you roll your eyes, but now you're kind of actually enjoying uh, the jokes a bit more, I feel. Yeah, only the last, last scene. That wasn't your no, piece of cake? No, that was not my piece of cake. No, I thought it was the, more a manly joke. I, th I thought it's, it's hilarious when Q says, I think he's attempting re-entry, sir. But anyway, um, fair enough. Maybe it is kind of a man's, man's type of humor, but I'm glad you enjoyed Roger Moore this much. Anything yeah. else you want to mention about him? Um, the stunt in the beginning, that was a stuntman, right? Of course, yeah. Roger Moore wouldn't jump out no, of the plane not, without oh. him. <laughs> It's not Tom Cruise. <laughs> okay, okay, well. But still a cool thing. opening yes. though, right? Yeah. I thought it was like, um, um, it was just like the other one with the um, UK flag on the... The previous one, yeah. Yes. The jumping off the cliff. Yes, also but this one opening. didn't have a, um, a UK flag. No, because it wasn't his parachute. No. Um, the thing, the thing I think is one of the most <coughs> impressive things about Roger Moore's performance is the centrifuge scene where he really plays it oh, like yes. he gets really heavy. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't, but he really played it as if it was happening to yeah. him. Yeah, and then he said like, no, no, just <coughs> leave me alone. Yeah. Leave me alone. He played it straight, and I think that was the perfect choice because you know he could have just walked out like this. Yeah, but that would be fake. Yeah, so he played it more uh, realistic and I like it for like it for it. Yeah. Moving on to the Bond girl, or you mm -hmm. could say Bond girls, I guess. Yeah. Of this movie. Um, let's start with your rating. What did you give him? Four stars. Four stars for uh, the Bond girls. Uh, obviously the main one mm -hmm. was Dr. Holly Goodhead. Yeah, the CIA girl. Right. Yeah. Um, and there were a couple more, I guess. Yeah, Talk for me, there were a couple more. Yeah. In the Can beginning, the girl who flew the helicopter without the headphones. Corinne, yeah. <laughs> the one who got killed by the, the dogs. The dogs, yes. That's also strange. Why don't go into your golf cart? Yeah, you, you should have drove, uh, driven off. You yeah. <clears throat> yeah okay. you, you came. With the golf cart, you talked to him, he fired you, and you ran into the woods. Your yeah. golf cart is right over there. So she should have went into the cart and... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Corinne, um, there was also uh, um, uh, Manuela, who we met in Brazil. Yeah, a short, also. A little short uh, term. Um, but she wasn't like... Uh, well, she was like... No, she made like pictures of him. Yeah. She was kind of a minor character yeah. in the end, but she made a little <coughs> bit of an impression. But again, but you gave a lot of stars, so you owe the viewers an explanation as to why. <laughs> let, let, let's talk about, uh, I guess, most of the stars went to Dr. Goodhead, or... Yeah. Can you talk about it? Uh, she fought 
and uh, she was smart with all the things and also with the um, shadow how to work with that because she worked there at tracks yeah so yeah his layer. kind of her cover was that she was uh, you know, monitoring the space shuttles and, and working at the facility. Yeah, and she uh, fired back with jokes to James Bond. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And she let him see that she can also fight. Yeah. And she was actually of great help to him in this yeah. uh, in a lot of the film, I feel. Yeah, and um, first she wants to um, look it on her own, but then he said, yeah, we can work together. And she still didn't fully no, trust no. him, but eventually... Uh, and her gadgets! Lots of gadgets, yeah. yeah. So these are the types of Bond girls you seem to enjoy the most. The ones they are capable of fighting and they <coughs> have their own gadgets and you want to have, want them to be kind of... Because I know you like Wei Lin, that's why I'm saying this. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the type of Bond girl you seem to enjoy the most when they're yeah. kind of Bond's equal. Yeah, they're helping him. Yeah. Just like the other ones in this movie, they were also helping him because um, that one in the estate, uh, she Corrine. could fly the helicopter mm -hmm. without the headphones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> you cannot talk in a helicopter without the headphones. No. <laughs> and um, she also helped him with the vault. Um, yeah, which eventually led to her death though. <clears throat> yes. Yes, so they're pretty good Bond yeah. girls. So overall, um, a good job for the Bond girls in Moonraker. So uh, well done. Yeah. Moving on to the Bond villain of the movie, mm -hmm. uh, or villains. What did you give them? Three stars. Three stars for the Bond villains. Uh, yeah. Obviously you had Hugo Drax. Uh, played by Michael Lonsdale, <laughs> uh, who was the main bad guy, I guess. Yeah. Um, and of course, Josh, Josh switched, but he returned. Yeah. Talk about the villains. Um, when I saw Drax and his plants and everything, it made me think uh, of, uh, <laughs> of, of uh, Mr. Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk? Yes. <laughs> oh, really? Well, Musk know, doesn't have a beard. No, or... no, not his appearance, but um, I think that Elon Musk also can get like an air space thing. Oh, really? Yeah. He has a lot of money. I he think. does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he I could, can see uh, the influence. He has also like a shuttle in space, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> So that's what you It's a good you. thing he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Um, did, do you like these, these type of villains for Bond? Does it fit it or was it too much for you? Like he wanted to exterminate the human yeah, race? Yeah, that was too much for me. Yeah. <laughs> but you were happy he, well, he, the way he got killed though in space, I feel. Yeah, that's his own fault. <laughs> So, so overall, a, a, a good villain you could enjoy? Yeah, and uh, Jaws was back. <laughs> what is he? Yeah, what did you think of him? Uh, he fell time. in love. Yeah, different, it's totally different than The Spy Who Loved Me, right? Where he was really the menacing villain that creeped up to you in the pyramids and then he bit the, the oh, guy yes. to death and now yeah. he was more, more of the comedy character, I guess. Yeah. In, in some scenes. Um, we have to talk about the falling in love part. What do you feel about it? it? Was it, did it suit him or weren't you a fan of it or did you like it? Well, everybody can fall in love. That's true. Yeah. It was very weird uh, that I saw like the bad guy <laughs> You don't, yeah, I don't think you were ex were ready for no, that. I don't think no. you were expecting that one. And you were like, yeah, just watch, just watch. And I was like, okay, why do I have to watch him falling in love? Yeah, I was actually thinking, is she gonna, is she gonna, is she gonna expect braces from Dolly because of Oh, the, yes, you said it, the uh, Mandela effect. Right. No, Clearly I didn't. Clearly you didn't expect it there, no. so no memories of you. You never saw no. the film, so... I uh, I thought um, when I saw her I I thought immediately at um, Dorothy from <laughs> the Wizard of Oz oh, because yeah. of her like her dress and, and uh, her to uh, to 
<laughs> I don't know. Pigtails. <laughs> yeah. But okay, for villains we had three stars. Let's move on mm -hmm. to Moonraker's locations. There were a lot in this film. Yes. What did you think? Four stars. Another four stars. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, t talk about uh, the, the locations in this film when, and how you like them. I've been to one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she had to count the whole thing. You, ne you never been to space? No. Oh, oh, that's uh, another place she hasn't been I will call yet. Elon Musk then. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so uh, uh, how, what the viewers want to hear, of course, mm -hmm. is how you like the way they were presented. The Very beautiful. Yeah, the, 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 yes. this film is filmed well, right? Yeah. Uh, Venice was in the part of the most tourist places ever. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. like when the gondolets were like uh, racing each other and like fighting each other. Yeah. Um, and Rio had the cable cars where where you didn't like the height that much. Yeah, yeah. And also with the carnival. Yeah. And the Amazon. Yeah, that was a uh, like a. Little hard. Yeah. It's uh, many of the <coughs> Amazon and California, but you only saw the state. Yeah. 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 So the, the real, the real major ones are Venice and Rio. Yeah. Uh, which I think are both filmed terrifically well mm -hmm. in this uh, movie. So the four also stars, the I think, is well deserved. Uh, on the square. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of over the top, right? Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. Moonraker. Um, <laughs> moving on to Moonraker's story. Yeah. What did you think? <laughs> Two stars. I guess. I guess that's fair. You know, it's not the the most groundbreaking story. No, I um, I said to you many times. Uh, he had to search for a shadow, right? <laughs> yeah, and then it uncovered um, the, a bigger plot. Yeah. yeah. And it turns out Drax just stole the shuttle back, and that was it. Yes. <laughs> but there was a more a, a much grander scheme behind it that he wanted to exterminate humanity. Yeah. And um, yeah, if you look at Moonraker's story, you can pick everything apart because you know he oh he finds something in a safe, so he goes to Venice and he directly finds a piece of glass that leads to to uh, you know um, the poison he finds the the flower in the amazon so it's like it, it goes all over the place but i don't think you need to analyze the story of moonraker too well because it will fall apart but i think it's enjoyable enough it's a it's a pretty easy story i think yeah 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 definitely because the shadow was like Stolen from an aircraft, yeah. <laughs> Bond has to go to the manufacturer, the boss, and then he has to find something. And, then and we immediately, it. obviously, know oh, the manufacturer is the bad guy, yeah. So that's yeah. that's immediately as soon as you see the samurai walk in, you already, you already know oh, yeah. these guys are the bad guys. So, um, but that, that's that's a Bond movie to me, so yeah, it, it's fun. Uh, speaking of fun, your <laughs> enjoyment, I hope you had fun with it, but what did you give them? Four stars. Another four stars. It's yeah. actually a really good rating for Moonraker. Yeah. Um, so you seem to really enjoy it then. I laughed a lot. Yeah. And in I a good way, I think. In a right? good way. And I think my face was also like nine of the ten times. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> really make sense. What? <laughs> A boat on the <laughs> on the square. But you did or... you did really enjoy it a lot. Yes, yeah. yes. It's a different type of fun than, uh, for example, Diamonds of Forever is also over the top, but it's so weird. And this one I think embraces the fun a lot more, and it makes it's a, a, a good type of comedy. This yeah. one. <clears throat> yeah, but it's like a little fake. It's not like too serious. I can't take him serious. No, it movie. isn't. It, it is. It's one of the the least serious Bond movies. It's just a strap yourself in and enjoy type of uh, mm -hmm. type of film. Yeah. So um, I'm really happy you enjoyed this this much. I I 
I wasn't expecting you to be really honest to enjoy Moonraker this much, but your rating yeah, comes my, down. Uh, my stars are pretty, uh, I don't know how to call it. <laughs> you gave them away like, uh, like yeah. chocolate. So um, that leaves gets your rating up to three and a half three stars, and a half. Okay. just like The Spy Who Loved Me. Would you say that's fair? Would you put it on par with that one, the previous one? Yes. And just for the viewers, because you gave the same rating, which which one would you prefer, The Spy Who Loved Me or Moonraker? I think this one. Really, you like this one over The Spy Who Loved Me? Yeah. You probably she's probably the first person in the world to say that. <laughs> but, um, really? Any last thoughts you want to mention before we finish uh, this movie reaction video? Um, the snake in this movie, I, I didn't. Uh, it wasn't that I wasn't that scared of it. it. Yeah, because you just recently watched Indiana Jones. Yeah. So I guess you've seen enough snakes for now. <laughs> this one was very big. It was like a python. It was. Kind of yeah. 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 Or a boa constrictor. Or I think a python indeed. Yeah. Yeah. But that yeah. Was, huge. That was one huge snake. Yeah. And Indiana Jones were like millions, but this one didn't scare me that much. I no. don't want it in real life here, but... No, of course not. <laughs> you imagine that crawling out of your toilet. It didn't uh, scare me when yeah. I saw it. No, so... Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed Lyric's reaction to Moonraker. I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised you like this yeah. movie so much, because a lot of Bond fans don't. They actually don't really enjoy it too much. Some do, oh. you know. Um, there are definitely Bond channels out there who really just find this a guilty pleasure because it is kind of a guilty pleasure <laughs> Bond movie. Yes, it is. Um, I, I'm i one of those. I, I, I enjoy it enough. I, I wouldn't put it in the top 10 or anything, but it's definitely a fun movie. And maybe it's because it's my first Bond film. So, um, and I love, I, you know, this is the stuff you love as a child, you know, to see Bond save the world, go to space. Everything was cool as a child to this. <laughs> So, next time, yes. um, for the next Bond movie reaction, uh, that is going to be for your eyes only. And we'll see uh, how Lyrit is going to enjoy that one next time. Okay. We hope you enjoy it. See you guys next time. Bye!